I just bought this Hobie 16. I had a Hobie 14 before, it was a lot of fun, and I found this one for $350, and I just figured I'd, I'd, I'd sail around with it for a little bit. If you are gonna buy one of these things, I you kind of like feel the, the it's kind of gets spongy here. This one isn't too bad. And the, check this out, the trampoline is in awesome shape. This is kind of rare. Someone obviously replaced that trampoline. It's a little weird though, how it's like sewn together at an angle. And it's got both the rudders, and then we have, um, I just try to make sure it's got in all the pieces because I don't want a project. But it's got these things where the rudders go in. It's got an extra set. We got two booms, two two mainsails. I don't know if we have a jib, but we don't. We could probably just have the mainsail. And then I didn't buy the trailer this time, but um, we're just gonna borrow it. The tires look okay. I think they'll, they'll get us there. We got we got about 45 minutes to drive to get this thing back. Um, oh yeah, come around and look at it. This is a cool, this will be fun. It looks like it has the trapeze too, maybe. I, I think the Hobie 16 has two trapezes, the 14 had one. So I like, I like that, that'll be fun. Some... I think this is gonna take, I was thinking one hour originally, but <laughs> maybe two, maybe like two or three. three. <laughs> Figure out all this stuff. Okay, the boat is all put together and I strapped it down the sails down and and this down and uh oh, gotta get these zip ties off but we're ready to go take it to the boat ramp but Graham's house is right here on this canal and i don't think it'll be too hard just to kind of slide it on in here so we're gonna give that a shot yeah put we put the blanket right here so it just slide on the instead of scraping up the holes <laughs> So the Hobie Cat is coming along. We got two rudders on here, and I'm trying. I'm getting working my way through the rigging. I got shrouds. I'm gonna leave the trapezes off because it's just complicating things. Um, and now the mast will have to go up. Come over. Come over there. We got we got the mast up. We lost a very crucial piece uh, in the middle of it, so it's just tied up for now. But uh, I think we're getting close. Unfortunately, the sun's setting. So tomorrow, we'll finish this. I finally, finally got this sail up. The little ferrule was getting stuck on the, the sheave. But um, now, since we don't have a jib, I need to find a way to tighten this up. So I think I'll just put a rope that would go where the jib would go. Unfortunately, my uh, jib halyard's all the way hanging up on the sail. So I gotta pull the sail back down and get a ladder. Try to grab that. And we're getting close. Looks like we do have a main sheet in here. So I'm gonna go for a sail and then to come back and clean this all up. I originally estimated this would take an hour, thinking maybe two hours at the most. And here we are the next day. Still working on it, but it's it's still the morning time. The sun's not very high, so I guess it's not too bad. But I'm really glad we put it in uh, in Grams's canal instead of at the boat ramp because it would still be sitting at the boat ramp overnight if uh, we did it there. We've got all the tools and you can get into the, the shade underneath the boathouse here. So our sail is up. It's not all the way up, um, but up enough. <laughs> we got the jib kind of air four stay tensioned with my little jury rig. And I even found the main sheet and that looks actually in good shape. Off for our maiden voyage, two soda waters, two paddles and a dry bag of stuff. All right, give us a shove. I'm gonna start paddling. Yeah, we're going backwards. We're going fast. What's that gonna be roll? Just for the sun. We're finally getting the hang of this. We did one tack without the paddles. Oh, oh, oh towards you, towards you, towards you, towards you. Other way, other towards you, other way, other way. They put it up on this mangrove island, but it, the bottom is very sharp to walk on with the oysters and stuff. All right, now we're going downwind, and we're going pretty fast, but it always feels like you're going so slow. And I think this is our this is our one, right? Or the next one? Oh, that's that one. That's the next one. Yeah, no cage in the end one. Coming in fast. 
So now we're back. Um, this sail's pretty bad shape, but it does work. Actually, the this the little end of the sail just ripped out, and uh, that's not that sail is kind of bound to fall apart. So we'll just use that as patches. But this one actually is pretty decent. So just kind of scrubbing off all this uh, mildew. Oh yeah, people are going to be late to work because of us. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we're back on the Hobie Cat, even better win the day. And I found this sunken sailboat and we're actually out in open water, kind of wild, but there's a sandbar out here. Still got a little bit of sail on there. I guess that's the furled jib. But this Hobie Cat can go, go there, no problem. I'm surprised if it sunk, it's pretty deep out here. The sandbar is more over here. But we're doing pretty, going really fast. How fast are we going? We're going. Four knots. Four point nine. Four point nine. Really? Four point nine? Here, now five point eight. Whoa. Yeah, we're going fast on this boat. We've already gone five knots in a I know. Okay. You go so fast on this thing. In fifteen minutes. It kind of rocks back and forth, like a banana. We got a new jib. Zoe went and found it. It's a little small, but actually, it looks perfect. And the colors match good too. Because there's no dark red on this, so we need a dark red jib. Okay, we're on the Hobie again, and we have the jib. Show the jib. The jib is working. I don't know what that jib is from, but it kind of works. We also got the trapeze set up, and we're, go we're in the mooring field. We're trying to find a place to park on so we can get some sushi. Also, I'm using the bean bag. It's the perfect thing for the Hobie cat. Pirate ship. We couldn't find good dock, so we just pulled out on the beach. And I tied it up to the tree and the root. And now we're going to get some sushi. And I'm just going to leave that jib up because it doesn't really do anything. Good job on the jib, Zoe. Victory. So we got a new box today on appealing. I know what it is. It's the latest addition for our Hobie cat. Professional unboxer. What do we got? It's from Gil. They make my jacket I've been using and my bibs for traveling across the Atlantic. I sent an email to send me some harnesses and these look awesome. You wear them when you're on the Hobie Cat and then you can you can hook into the trapeze. And I'll demonstrate that. We got a large and a small. So we'll go real fast with this. Thank you, Gil. Yeah. You're gonna look real stylish. Yeah. Okay. Now I trust the harness. I don't trust these trapezes. So let's give it a shot. Alright, hook in the here, I think. <laughs> Do upside down line. Now I have Zoe taking enough less room on the trampoline. I can really spread out more with her out there. <laughs> and that's really the goal of this, just to kind of get her far, far enough away from us. Far enough away. Thank you. 
How much funner is it with the harnesses versus without the harnesses? Uh, without the harness, it was mediocre, and with the harness, best time ever! <laughs> we go in because the, the, the wind gets blocked by these houses. So Zoe runs the rope. It works pretty good. We just gotta not hit the mast with these trees. Or the shrouds. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. In the next video we start experimenting with setting the Hobie Cat up for some overnight camping. And then after that, we'll start the video series on the uh, seven day, 100 mile uh, Hobie Cat camping trip through the, the, the Florida Keys. We, we sail from Isla Mirada to, to Key West. It was a lot of fun. I think it's gonna make some pretty cool videos. Just started editing that. Um, along the way, I've been kind of outfitting it. So I think I might add the, the Amazon wish list if people wanna contribute to that again. Uh, the links will be in the description for that. As always, we've got the Patreon if you wanna see the videos. Uh, a day early without ads, um, or there's also Venmo, PayPal if you want to, if you're getting something on the videos and want to send a few bucks. If not, no worries. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.